Android launchers have been an integral part of the Android ecosystem if you love customizing the looks and feel of the UI on your Android device. What's up guys, it's Ritesh and today in this video we are going to take a look at some of the best free Android launchers available on the Play Store. So the first launcher of my choice on the list is the Yahoo Aviate launcher. It started out as a startup project by a handful of developers before Yahoo bought it out a couple of years back. Aviate falls into the category of predictive launchers as it aims to change and adapt with your usage, location and information you provide it. Not much of personalization options are provided with it, apart from applying icon packs. Yahoo Aviate has some contextual elements to try to deliver the apps you need when you need them based on location and time of day. It also comes with a sleek, simple layout along with Smart Stream, which is kind of like Google Now. There is a set design of 4 main home screens. Your main home screen has a standard 5 across quick launch pad at the bottom that you can put any apps you want in it. To its left, you get a very Google Now-like experience in the smart screen. A vertically scrolling list of cards with various information that a V8 thinks is relevant at the time. To the right of the main home screen, your apps are organized into collections based on their function. During installation, a V8 launcher asks you what apps and categories you use most on your phone and it will set up at least 5 collections for you. And the last screen that is located to the right of the collections page is an alphabetically organized list of all the apps installed on your phone. You also get a search bar at the top of every page, which works for searching any installed apps. Next launcher on our list is the very popular Apex Launcher. So this launcher is more or less like the stock Google Launcher. Apex Launcher is all about ramping up the control you have over your home screens and the apps menu. It lets you fit a frankly ridiculous maximum number of apps icons on each page. Basically allows you to change the number of rows and columns of apps that you can have on the app drawer and home screen. Change icon size and packs, install new themes and overall change the look and feel of your device with it. I personally prefer the Apex launcher over the Nova launcher because it offers much more features in the free version than the Nova free version. Next launcher on my list is Arrow Launcher. Arrow Launcher is a Microsoft project. The launcher comprises of 5 pages, apps, recent, widgets, people and notes and reminders. It's simple and smooth. After installing the app, it detects the most used apps and organizes them itself and then it asks to select at least 5 most used apps according to you from the list. There's not much to be talked about the customizability, but it gives necessary and needed customization support to enhance the experience on your device. It comes with the support to customize the launcher with icon packs. Apart from this, it comes with the basic wallpaper customization along with Bing wallpaper of the day service. If enabled, the wallpaper changes daily. Overall, the performance was smooth, with no crashes encountered. The transition between multiple screens is pretty fast. Fourth launcher on the list is CM Launcher. It is the launcher from the Clean Master team. One of the major highlighting features of this launcher is its light memory consumption. The app focuses on creating the smallest conceivable footprint and the downloads itself is only of 4 MB and uses only a small amount of system resources. It's a light, fast and stable launcher. The biggest feature is the direct integration with CM security. So this one has a built-in antivirus. By default, you get two home screens on this launcher, first having clock and weather widgets along with some apps listed on the bottom. You also get this slide out search menu which shows some popular searches and newsfeed. On the next page, you get your apps categorized automatically into folders according to their categories. CM Launcher also has its own version of online wallpaper gallery where you get to choose from thousands of wallpapers and lock screen themes. Last and the final launcher of my choice on this list is Sea Launcher. On one hand, it has a powerful vibrant look. On the other hand, it has some great widgets and apps to help you clear cache files, close apps and free up memory and overall make your phone that bit quicker. The launcher looks clean and not cluttered at all. The icons also look pretty neat. By default, the launcher provides you with three home screens. First one having a Google search bar along with some utility apps and tools. On the main screen, you have some of your most important apps and a neat clock and weather widget at the top. On the third and the last screen, you have your apps categorized into folders, which have this awesome looking background related to the category folder. Overall, Sea Launcher is very pleasing to look at and gives you easy ways to create folders and add widgets to your home screen. And yeah, that was all for my top launchers for Android video. I will see you guys pretty soon in a future video, so do stay in touch with the channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next one.